Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds, Burial on Gorgon, as I just loaded the game and uh, it does that chug that you probably have seen a few episodes, uh, all, and a, a few times already. Um, so, we were reading some things here. No, not admin functions. We are currently messing around with uh, Blakesley's computer. So we have archived... What was that? I really... I'm not a big fan of the all the bad screens that this game has because it just makes it so that my screen is bad because the screens are bad the, the refresh rates and, and pixel response times and all that's all terrible um archived message that is what we're referring to there we go so uh this is to bancroft from blakesley lucian i'm leaving this message to inform you oh lucian bancroft um to inform you of my resignation from the position of testing supervisor at Space Destroys Pharmaceuticals, effective immediately. I think this is new information. I'm not sure this is known to Winnie. No, that's not her name. Will Minnie, that's the one. Wilhelmina. That's yeah, there, we, there it is. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think she knows this. I want to be returning to headquarters, and I won't bother. Chasing that tracking signal unless you want to give the boys and girls in human resources some exercise. I'll warn you once. Do not try and find me. Dr. Marion Blakesley. Yeah, this is definitely new information. We also have deleted uh, messages over here. Condolences. Mor uh, Morion, cancel all the letters. If they have been hand-delivered, send someone to retrieve them. Secrecy trumps sentiment. Don't ever let me do anything so indulgent again. I don't know what this is in relation to, but uh, we have test subject status over here. M Marion, oh, do I? You see how it's tricky for me to know if it there's an A or, or no. Either way, um, I see now why you held back your reports. Strangulation, attempted disemboweling, blunt force trauma to the head with a bad pen. It's not just that volunteer deaths are up, but that the way in which they are dying are appalling, or the ways are appalling. This is unconscionable. An unmitigated disaster. Seize administration of the compound immediately. I'll take this to our liaison, Lucian. Surely when I show him these results, he'll understand that we can't take this product to market at, as it currently stands, Ollie. So there it is. Lucian is the liaison probably for the, the corporate liaison. Did we know that already? I think we might... Like, that fits into what we learned of Lu Lucian already. But I'm not sure if we knew this in such clear terms. Um, it's clear that Lucian didn't, wasn't, probably wasn't very open to, to, um, well, to the proposals of, of, um, uh, Morley here, anyway. Um, right, this is Morley, of course. This is, uh, Blakesley, I should say. Uh, this is Blakesley, this is not, um, what's her name? Olivia? Yeah, the other, the main person. So, yeah, Minnie wouldn't know about about Blakesley because she doesn't care about Blakesley. Uh, so the resignation was not of Minnie's mother, as I was actually thinking when I said that uh, it was new information. Anyway, Morley or Marley, it either works. And by the way, when I'm referring to the screen being crap, do you see what the screen is doing right now? I'm not sure if this comes across on YouTube very well, but you see how impossible it is to read what's going on over there? The reason why that is, and some screens do this more than others, um, and if you have a particularly bad screen on your computer, or even your phone, when you scroll, you basically can't read things while you're scrolling. Good computer screens don't have that problem. Um, and, uh, so yeah, it is, it's really tricky to, to even follow what you're doing, because this is like, extremely, this is basically your, if your screen is doing this in real life, um, uh, obviously this is the game doing it, but the, po the point is, if you're on a web page or something and you're scrolling and this happens then it's actually broken because I'm pretty sure there's no screen no modern screen that has this level of um, this level of um, I, I don't even know what it is it's just it's the pixel response time it's just awful uh, so uh, how do I lead this message uh, Clar Cal Clarence that's the one that's the word that I was looking for the latest res no that's not the word I was the, the name I was looking for that's not Clarence what's the name of Minnie's mother Olivia Olivia yeah Anyway, the latest results are in. As you hoped, you'll find that the violent cases now account for a smaller overall percentage of the testing pool. I expect that will change in about two or three weeks, so you'd better get that report out of Goodfellow, or out to Goodfellow in a hurry. In the meantime, closing all of the test subjects means that HIA, 
sorry, dozing all of test subjects means that HIA is now in the business of... Yeah, we read this already. And I had the same problem with the, reading the D. Because uh, I said closing instead of dozing. Hmm. Well, that was an autosave on the right side of the screen, as you might have noticed. Uh, this is not what we're here for, though. Will you, fellas, excuse me? Thank you. What we're here for is admin functions. To override syntheses and manufacturer, manufacturing center lockdown that we read about as well in this computer. Uh, and we can look at the status. Uh, the synthesis and manufacturing center is currently locked. Alert. Executive lockdown must be overridden at ChemLab. Or is it both? I think it is both. Uh, human inquiry and auditing. Let's do that. An administrative actions menu. Okay, override. Accessing, sending, success. Synthesis and manufacturing center lockdown override. Sent. So can I... It is still locked. Yeah, I need... I always knew this colony was twisted. Heard my share of stories in the Groundbreaker. Seen my share of gruesome, too. But nothing prepared me for this. Yeah. It's... Yeah. There, there basically is... N nobody here is... Uh, nobody has their hands clean. <laughs> That's Halcyon for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's Halcyon for you. What do you expect? I can't accept that, Captain. The folks responsible for this nightmare, they were capable of kindness. But they chose cruelty. They knew, Captain. Spacer's Choice knew all along what Adrena Time did, and they sold it anyway. I know. Somehow, this doesn't surprise me. Someone's gotta do something about this. Gotta hold folks to account. Maybe it should be us. I don't know why Miss Ambrose has got her heart set in that journal. Nothing good ever came out of a place like this. Hmm. I don't know. I, I, I know why she might have... Ambrose is her name. I keep forgetting. Um, but yeah, uh, I know why she might want to see that journal. There's a lot of things that could get... There's a lot of good things that can come out of that journal. Despite what Felix is saying. Uh, let's get back to finding the journal then. So little bit of dialogue. I think we're done with this area completely. Was that open? It was. I went upstairs. And then there was a door that was locked. But now... They did here. I ain't ever gonna shake this. Yep. And now it's open. Maybe. Maybe it was the one that I was thinking of. I don't know. I recorded it. I recorded the last episode earlier today and just forgot because I, I recorded it in my lunch break. So, anyway, I had to go to work in the meantime. So, we're out here again. You just turned on. You don't usually turn on. What is that? Don't be pat me. There's prats about. Either way, we're good. Um, well, I mean, we're sort of good. Where the heck are we? Keep looking at the sky to see if there's any s sky. I thought, yeah, I know, I know where we are. I thought we were over there. Does that mean that we? Oh, we didn't explore back here, did we? Yep. No, we didn't. Unless we did, and uh, somehow I forgot about it. It looks like I haven't. We still need to find a place for us to upgrade our assault rifle. And we will find a place, I should say, and upgrade the assault rifle. Uh, we got some stuff over here. The strangest place to set up a workstation. No, you have seen Stranger, and it's definitely that totally okay. Did we even find it? I don't think we did. The Exhilarating Adventures of Archibald Excelsior, issue, issue number three. A comic from the cult classic Ace Exterminator series, tragically cancelled after its brief four-issue run. Scribbled in felt tip on the comic's spine is the word end. Just the word A-N-D, that's what it is. After pacifying, it reads, the, the comic does, after pacifying the Canid threat, rejuvenated hero Ultra Bar 
Ar Ar Archibald Excelsior is deployed to the subterranean metropolis of Hephaestus to quell the rise of supervillainous a cappella band, the Sprat Pack, when a new foe arrives to stop him. Buff Hartman, acquisitions agent of Super Dark Reclamation, will stop at nothing to acquire Hephaestus Mining's productive corporate enclave for his shadowy shipping concern. When Excelsior interferes with Hardman's plans to mind control the Sprat Pack, Hardman turns his dastardly mind control ray on Excelsior. Will our mustachioed hero free his mind from Hardman's power with his newly healed heart intact? I have heard that uh, old school things. You know how in movies sometimes the trailer just spoils the movie? Well, basically that that. Uh, that wasn't a trailer, what we just read, but it kind of was, and he kind of spoiled most of the comics, maybe? I don't know, uh, unless the, the, all that happened in, in the previous issue. But I've heard that back in back in the olden days, that, that the problem of spoilers in, in promotional material was just a lot more. When I say problem, I mean it's just a lot more common. The problem really arises from people not liking the spoilers. So if everybody liked the spoilers, then it wasn't a problem, is what I mean to say. Anyway, Birdie, Virgil's... Sharp data or Virgil Sharp's data pad is what we're reading. Low, uh, law damn it, Birdie. What did I tell you about pestering Ma Maurice? Is not interested. If you scare him off the project, you're gone. I don't care if you're my kid sister. We need his research. We don't need you. Got it? Good. I took a look at the preliminary schedule you sent over. You got all the tasks tracked, but the timing is off. One thing, or for one thing, you have me finishing the metal casings fabrication after the package is supposed to be complete. Find me at my workstation in the mines near OCI. When you get off shift, I'll go over the rest of the, my criticisms in person. By the marvelous mustache of Excelsior, Jill. Postscriptum, how long do, uh, how long we do have to keep saying that? It's ridiculous. No, you should definitely say it. It's definitely good. Keep at it. Um, heavy ammo. Just a bunch of parts and whatnot, which is good, I suppose. Although bits is really what you want for upgrades ra rather than parts. I think parts are for uh, repairs. Wait a minute, you said there was a workshop? That is a lie. I mean, I mean, this is a workshop, but in the sense of I, I need to repair things, and you know what I mean? The workshop, the... I don't know if it... I don't even know if it's called the workshop. It might be called something else, for all I know. Is there anything back here? Nope. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, that's it. So I did a good, a good thing in coming back over here and realizing why I was a little bit lost on my exit. Uh, and indeed, that door might have been locked before. Uh, the one that I was wondering if indeed it had been locked or not. And of course, there's some more jerks over there. Let me see what I can do. Right, here we go. Hmm. Oh, hi! Are you okay? Not really. Wow. Oh, hi. Yeah. I don't think I have range. Parvati, you jerk. I don't think I have range from that, from over here. Uh, we just have things that don't really matter. The, the experience is good, I suppose. Oh, hi. No, that's Parvati. Um, but the, um, come on, Felix, get up. Time to wake. You guys are not done yet? All right. Well, <laughs> see, it's so much more fun when you play a game that just, you know, kill enemies one with one hit. Because then the challenge is to, um, be accurate rather than to, I don't know what else, what, what the challenge is with this game. I mean, I suppose have good weapons. So that's a good thing as well. Have good weapons. It's a good challenge. Can you all let me? Thank you. Uh, now, we have been here before... What the heck's that? Oh, they painted over the Spaces Choice logo. We've been here before, and we crossed this bridge. But uh, I think we stopped somewhere around there. Ooh! Well, we're definitely... Cro well, we could just travel. That, that'd be an easier one. So we need to go to... Uh, a tra Yeah, that's good enough. I can fast travel over there. Because there's, uh, there's both of the things that I need. But we're going to need to go... Uh, I think we're we're going to... Oh, can I know where I'm at? Do I know where I'm at? I do. No enemies, hopefully. That is correct. The game is chugging every once in a while, but we don't pay attention to that. 
either way, the point is, uh, I think... No, there's some fools over here. Uh, I think I'm gonna have uh, to fight a lot in the next few... Well, in the next few episodes. Because I want to explore all of the areas. Because you never know what you're gonna find. I believe the workshop is up here. That is not correct. I've been over here off camera to sell things. The workshop is in here. There we go. Yes. Okay. Let's look at our weapons. Also, we have uh, leveled up, so good things. Got a little bit of that, and now we can tinker. Now, what I'm looking at is the Light Assault Rifle Mark III. So it costs a little bit to upgrade, which is fair. And the shotgun also costs quite a lot to upgrade, but uh, we don't like it as much. I don't like it as much. So we can't upgrade more than 38, so we didn't level up since the last time we, we uh, upgraded things. And of course, our uh, plasma carbine ultra, carbine ultra over here is really expensive, and I kind of don't want to upgrade it anymore. I might have something better, although I doubt it. Um... So what are we want? What are we looking at? We're looking at the right side of the pop-up that says long guns, and then on the magazine size it says energy. So that's what we want for an energy type um, long gun. And look at that plasma rifle, three point zero. That's that's what we're that's what we need. That's immediately what we need. Uh, why is it not? Okay, sort by value then. Or by value by weight. Uh, it's just sort by... Oh, damage rating. Oh, that's a... That's a thing that I never pay attention to. <laughs> um, so, carbine. That's the ultra. That's what I have. Did I compare it? I must have compared it and it was like, nah, it's not as good. But it's gotta be. What are we looking at? Assault rifle ultra. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, we got a few of these, a few of the light assault rifles, which is good. That's good. Uh, so I'm going to just sort by type, because if I can, damage rating, melee range. Well, I can't. <sighs> Gimme. Gimme, because I can tell over here. It was on the second screen, wasn't it? I don't know. Long guns, heavy. Dang it. Long Guns Energy. So it's a Plasma Carbide or Carbine Ultra. So, you know, I can do something with that. PQ, Plasma Carbide. There it is. Why? Oh. 28. How did I read 35? There it is. It's not a Plasma Carbine Ultra. It's a Plasma Rifle 3.0. The Carbine Ultra is what I'm using right now. Which is bad. We don't like it. Um, so, this is all the new equipment that from the DLC, as far as I can tell. Anyway, it could be just because I didn't level up enough or something. Or the game just adds. It's all. Maybe it's just. Because it's all just reskin stuff. It's not like it changes anything. Um, so, let's just repair that item. Sure. And uh, let's start working on them. So, I will want to install mods. Do I want to install mods more than anything? Because we got some really good stuff. Especially the plasma rifle over here. So, I want to tinker first. Oh, that's not how you do that. I want to tinker. And uh, plasma rifle is very cheap. It just gets uh, more expensive the more you tinker. Uh, and we can do a couple of the shotguns just to keep it under control and everything is fine. And then we can go with the assault rifle, which is going to be the most expensive one because it's the lowest level. Does that make sense? I don't know. The system is what it is. I'm not 100% behind it. We have wasted tremendous amounts of money. Uh, oh, look at... Speaking of wasting tremendous amounts of money, look at that. I don't have enough money. I might have enough money, and we're splurging right now. Uh, but first, we're going to uh, modify. Uh, we can do that after... In a little bit. It's just going to... We're just going to look at modify... You know what I could do? I could go back to the ship. Right? ship is here somewhere you cannot fast travel while near hostiles your face is near a hostile oh there they are oh this is the wrong weapon sorry oh hey, don't shoot me oh get out of my way oh there's there's the colossus it's the armor he was complaining about I don't think I'm getting through 
But I think that's the uh, that's the armor. They're uh, they're too well armored or something. We did it though. Uh, did we? Oh my god, they're shooting me from back there. There we go. I think I saw a head fly. It's uh, kind of complicated. Don't ask me any questions. Okay, so now we can go back. To... Where are the hostile? There's no hostiles. Does the game not know? Ooh, I love that sound that just happened. Does the game not know we're out of combat? I mean, I can hear all the terrible things, but it's just... Oh, there are. There are hostiles. Oh, it's the Sprat. <gasps> That's the last of them. <laughs> oh my god, Felix. What have you done to the world? Really? What is going on? Anyway, the, the reason why I'm coming here. For one, I should have probably do, done that because we can... Well, not while we can't sell things over here, we can definitely... Um, uh, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the upgrades, and I have them all already. That's good news. Uh, so we're going to do the upgrades. Uh, actually, let me offload all the equipment, all the unique equipment that we are not going to need. Put it over there. That's very important because, I mean, it's not very important. I could just sell it, but I am I like it, so, <laughs> so I hang on to it. It's a terrible idea. Uh, anyway, uh, so what are we doing? We are tinkering. That's right. That doesn't cost money. We don't have it anyway, so no, not tinkering. The other way, where I, that I modify and tinker. That's all the same word for me in my head. So we are, uh, yeah, we're working on the assault rifle because it's probably the most, the most fun one, weapon that I have. We don't have that many upgrades, unfortunately. Uh, but we can't remove upgrades from existing weapons anyway, so we're just gonna go with what we have. Uh, let's see. We have a rate of fire over here, if I'm not mistaken. Can I tell just by looking on the left side? Yes, I can. Rate of fire? Not a big fan. Fire noise. Firing noise? Not a big fan either. Critical damage? That is kind of better. Ranged weapon sway and spread? I like that. I like that. I'll go with that. And then we have magazine size increased. Damage type changed for shock. Damage type plasma or for corrosion. Um, I'm going to go with magazine size increased. I think it's better. Uh, we have other weapons that can do uh, electrical damage. Weapon range is increased. Weapon spread is decreased. And uh, there's a scope. I'm going to go with the spread. This is going to be a killer weapon. I mean, it's a weapon. It's going to kill. Uh, but still. Uh, we got a plasma rifle over here. That's the one that I like to turn into electrical. Even though it's not necessarily the best thing to do. Uh, but it is a cheap thing. It's N-Ray. Oh, yeah, N-Ray is the special one. Shock, that one. Uh, so we go with that. And what else we have? We have the firing noise, the rate of fire, the critical damage increase. Uh, I'm going to go with the critical damage increase. It sounds like a good time for this particular weapon. Uh, we also might increase... There's a scope. I'm not a big fan of it. Of the scope. But this is already a scope. You know what I mean? It does increase the range. This one doesn't. So I'm, I'm going to go with the one that increases the range. I think that's that's a better uh, better thing. The shotgun already has mods, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so does the sniper. Okay, so that's good. And now we can go outside. Remember that you are not insured. Don't worry. We got... We're definitely living in a dystopia where basically you're going to die if you break a leg. Uh, if you're uninsured, anyway. And maybe if you are insured. Now, we are here, and it's a good thing to be here, even though I don't see any trading. There's some trading. There we go. And we have all of them, which is great, because that means I have uh, free reign and can choose whatever I have a best discount at. Um, which, uh, I think... It shows uh, all... Yeah, there it is. So... Let me sell my crap, make a little, minute, a little bit of money, and uh, we can continue with our adventures. Because what we're doing is we're actually going back over there. I don't think we've been over there. Worker domiciles? I'm pretty sure we haven't. So, that's OCI. Isn't that our ultimate objective? I think it might be. I might be wrong. And now we're... Wait. Oh, we're... Initiating ocular measurement. Uh, I did that already. Measurement complete. Ocular identification failed. Right. Access denied. Yeah. 
yeah, that, that was, we did that already, that's why I was think. Okay, so, the last time we were here, I do wonder if I have been up there, because I don't think I have. In the, either because it, oh, there it is. Right. Let's murder them all. Hi. You really are asking for it. There we go. Okay. Oh! Where are they? Oh, they're behind. Okay, good. Man. So I definitely killed these guys already. They just keep coming back because that's how, how we do. Yeah, I've been over here. But I think the door is locked. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, that's the last of them. Yeah, I think their shoes sort of flew a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be picking up a lot of the really, uh, the really uh, inexpensive stuff. So I didn't come over here. I might have looted some stuff at the entrance, like this. But for there to be mines, I'm wondering if, because I, I don't think I have been over here. Hi. Oh, that was a shot. Oh no, Parvati died in front of me. What is that guy doing? They're so tricky. Because they have the... Their AI moves, moves them around so much. On purpose, naturally. Interesting. That one is going to be the first, the first to come out of the hiding spot. Nope, they do it at the same time. <laughs> Felix doesn't care. He's not waiting. Hey! Too strong? Yep. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> he went back there to make sure everything was alright. Uh, now, uh, invisible wall. Uh, just there. And uh, everybody's back up. So, yeah, this is... That, specifically, is a place I don't know that I've been to. And because we're going around... Look at that. And because we're going around the map, I want to do that. I want to make sure I explore all the things. But uh, we're also out of time for the day, so it's kind of a that's kind of a problem. Uh, because for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, mm -hmm, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.